Hello and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to talk about what we call exponents and order of operations. Has a fancy sounding title. I promise you that by the end of it you'll be understanding things that you never really thought would be so easy to grasp uh, through a bunch of example problems. This is the first section in this sequence where we're really going to start doing some things that sort of resemble algebra. A lot of students get turned off to algebra in the beginning because they open the book and they see all of these symbols and things that they've, that they've never seen before. Uh, exponents, numbers raised up high, parentheses, all kinds of things that you normally don't see until you get sort of into an algebra level. right? So we're going to break these things down. We're going to talk about what exponents are and make sure you really understand. And then we're going to get into order of operations which tells you how to calculate things in algebra and what comes first, what comes second. I'm not going to bore you with a long list of rules. We're going to do it by working problems. So, what is an exponent? An exponent is a big word that just means it's a shorthand way of writing multiplication. It's a shorthand way of writing multiplication. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you see something in a book that looks like this, four with a two on the top, this is an exponent. The two is what we call an exponent. And it's a shorthand way of writing this. Four times, the dot is times, four, right? So we call this four squared. Anytime you see a uh, two up there, it means squared. It just means that you take the bottom number and you multiply it by itself as many times as is indicated in the exponent. So it's four times four. So in this case, four times four is 16. So four squared or four raised to the power of two is 16. So for those of you that, that are scared and terrified of algebra, you should look at this and realize it's something you can understand. This two is not magical. It is just 4 multiplied by itself two times there, 4 squared. So likewise, 4 raised to the power of 3 would be 4 times 4 times 4, right? You multiply by itself three times because that's the number indicated at the top. And it can be any number you want. It could be, you know, 59 raised to the fourth power, right? And that would be 59 multiply by 59, multiply by 59, multiply by 59. Now this is a very large number. Take these numbers and multiply them in your calculator, you're going to get a giant number. This is why we use exponents. It's kind of a big uh, pain to keep writing this multiplication out. We can write it like this and wrap it up much, much smaller and keep it nice and neat instead of writing all this multiplication out everywhere. So that's what an exponent is. That's the basic, basic picture. One thing you must make sure that you do not get into the trap of is making the following mistake. Do not make the following mistake. Four squared, for instance, is not, that means not equal to four times two. A lot of students will look at these numbers and say, well, four times two, that's eight. Well, that's wrong because we already said that four squared is equal to four times four. Four times four is 16. 4 times 2 is 8. So you can see that these two things are not equal. So you definitely don't just multiply by the exponent and you're, and you're done. What you're doing is you're multiplying the bottom number here by itself as many times as indicated by the number up there. So we already talked about it, but I'll just write it down. So for instance, 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4 is equal to 16. That's how you get that. All right. Let's do another one. Let's say we have 6 squared. What would that be equal to? That would be 6 multiplied by, by itself two times because that's the number here. 6 times 6 is going to give us 36. You can see right away that 6 times 2, if you just did that, would be 12. That's nothing even close to 36. So just forget about multiplying these. 